Hey everybody, it's John with Backyard Eden, and we are here for another episode. Thank you for joining us. If you are new here, uh, consider subscribing. But today we are looking at the pepper update. That's coming up on Backyard Eden. <music> All right, guys, so we are back here in the backyard garden and we're taking a quick look at the pepper update. So it's been a little while since we've updated you on the peppers and how they're doing, but I thought I'd bring you a little look at them because they are doing fantastic. So the last time we left off, uh, it's been a little while. Uh, I did post a video just a few days ago on how to plant a pepper plant into a pot. Uh, you can check that video out right here. Uh, so, but that's pretty much where we left off. I haven't really given you an update. I'm kind of slacking on that, but here is an update on the peppers. So, right here we've got some pots uh, of peppers, as you can see them right here. Um, so those are some of the peppers. We've also got a bunch of the uh, peppers that are in raised beds, uh, just around the patch. But so the peppers right here, they're doing fantastic. Uh, I don't know if you can see, they're super green. So we're going to take a look at them real quick. So let's get to it. All right, so here is the look at the peppers. I'll give you just an overview real quick. Here are some of them. These are the, some of the ones I haven't, these are the ones I haven't pots. Uh, I do have a few other ones just around the patch. And I, of course I have the ones in raised beds. But I thought we'd just take a look at these. And so, so here we go. So right here on the end, I'll start with this row. Right here on the end, I have the Pasilla Baggio. Um, these peppers, they've already given me several peppers. Uh, this plant is real weird looking. Um, the Pasilla Baggios look like, kind of like a little, I don't know, it's a short bush, kind of branched out quite a bit. Um, but they are giving me peppers like crazy. I've also got in each one of these pots, I've got some marigolds, as you can see right here. Uh, those are to help in uh, bringing in beneficial insects uh, and help to keep the aphids away. <laughs> so right here, this next one here, I've got the same situation. I've got some marigolds in here just around. I've got some, ever so often I'll have a, a weed that I have to pull out. But this is a daytail. And you can see it's got some peppers on it. There's another one on here on this side. Um, so yeah, there's a day till right here. Here's a day till right here. Uh, and those are day tills as well. So I have four day tills and they're doing really well. Uh, you can see the peppers in there. Uh, kind of an interesting looking pepper. I didn't expect them to be kind of this blunt on the ends. Um, but they are. So interesting. I haven't actually got the first ripe one yet. Uh, over here, another day till, like I said, just covered in peppers, you can see. Um, and of course, there's more flowers. There's flowers. Uh, and then right here, this is the other one. So, just covered in flowers, doing good. And then, okay, so moving on right along. Here are the two Bikino erasmus. Uh, I'm having some stuff, having an insect eat some of these leaves. Um, but that's <laughs> such is. But you can see that it's covered in peppers. So it's got tons of these little peppers on it. Awesome looking peppers. Same thing with this one here. This is another Bikino Erasma. Tons of peppers on it. Alright, the next one, not actually sure what this is. Um I had it labeled as a Fresno. But I'm not so sure. It doesn't quite look like a Fresno. There's what the peppers look like. They're not really 
I mean, that one's a little thicker. Um, so I'm not real sure, but the growth is real weird. Um, if you see the growth here, I'll lift the, lift the pot up. I mean, it's covered in peppers. I mean, that's awesome. But the growth, it kind of tops out. It's more horizontal. This is leaves off the tree. Let's see. Um, so that's the Fresno. It's doing well. And then these are the uh, these are the yellow ghost peppers. And uh, I don't know if that one's got any on it just yet. There's some flowers. These are flowers up on the top. Here's another yellow ghost. Got a couple of peppers ripening up on it. A couple of them. These are just small so far. Here's another yellow ghost. I've got four plants total. These two here and then the next two right there. Here's another... Here's another pepper. So I've actually already picked off a, a, a ripened one off of this one. But I want to show you this awesome pod on this next one. There is an awesome pod right there. Here's another one. And then moving on these are i believe this is a I'm not actually sure because i lost the label on a couple of these so that looks to me like either a sweet cayenne or a large red cayenne i'm not real sure i said i've lost the tag this next one here if you can tell these ones over here and that whole first row, those are actually the ones I planted first. So they've been in the pots an extra two to three weeks. And then these here were late. These I planted right before we left for the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. Um, this next one here, even though it looks bigger, it still planted it the same as these here. Um, this is a Shishido. And I actually didn't start any of these from seed. Um, I actually bought these from Home Depot. Uh, just because I wanted some. But it's got several, several peppers on it. <laughs> and then here is its counterpart. This is another Shishido. It's a little bit further behind. And then here is a... See, some of them have the red cup on that is a serrano that i started from seeds i saved from the store and then this is a red tie it's got some beautiful looking peppers on it here's another one this is i don't know some of these this is listed as a red tie as well so and then the one here on the end is a sweet cayenne. And then on the end here, these last four were late, late, late plantings. That one here is a ahi limon or a hot lemon. Same here, and this one just got destroyed by something. I don't know if it's going to make it. We're going to leave it and let it. We'll see. Here is a Brazilian starfish. And here is a Brazilian starfish. Like I said, these all four right here were planted considerably, considerably later than everything else. All right, guys. So that was just a quick look at the peppers. Um, I'll bring you an, uh, an update on the other peppers as well. Like I said, I have some in raised beds. I have uh, three raised beds that have peppers in them. I've got one that has 21 one that has 10 and one that has eight um, because they've got other stuff going in them. And then I also have 16 out in the side patch. So I've got a hundred peppers total that I planted. So that's 
insane but yeah um so i'll definitely bring you an update on those soon but uh if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't checked us out on social media you can find the links in the description below uh, if you have any comments questions or suggestions about anything that you've seen here pop that in the comment section below um what kind of peppers are you growing this year how are you growing them leave that in the comment section below and as always i will catch you in the next video Hey, you made it to the end. Awesome. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that right below this video. And please, if you enjoyed it, share with your friends. And I hope that you will come back and continue to watch our content. And also, have an awesome day.